So after spending the night, we heard quite a few howl in the general area where we were camping. Tried to make a few stands in that area the next morning. The sage was just way too tall, uh, three to four feet in most places, and so thick you'd never get a shot at a coyote. So we drove to a new area, found some shorter sage, and made, I think, three stands there. Didn't call anything in, then we were just getting frustrated. So we moved to the other side of the valley and finally started getting into the coyote. Alright guys, we've seen three road dogs in the last 10 minutes. We pulled up to this pond and saw one and he just trotted off. We've had this work before, but it's probably not going to happen. We knew this probably wasn't going to work, but we did it anyway because we knew there was going to be coyotes there. But we ended up calling in this one from the exact opposite direction the other one went. So there was at least two coyotes in the area, and now we had seen five coyotes for the morning and still hadn't fired a shot. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident the reason this coyote didn't come in is they could see us sitting on the pond bank. When we first sat down, we were fully in the shade, but as the sun started to come up, it kind of skylined us a little bit there. I'm pretty sure that's why he didn't come in. And no, this is not the footage of the same coyote. This is another coyote that literally did the exact same thing the last one did. That's six coyotes now we've seen, and it's maybe 9.30 in the morning, and we still have yet to fire a shot. Now we're just really frustrated. <laughs> well, to make matters even worse, right when we left this stand, we made it about a half mile down the road and saw a coyote out in the middle of the flat with a bunch of cows, maybe 600 yards, just running away. Now we'd seen seven coyotes before 10 o'clock in the morning and not even fired a shot. So we went down the road about another mile and found this stand. The dumbest one we've ever made, but it was the only place we had to hide the truck out there was right behind this corral. Needless to say, it didn't work. Sometimes you gotta get a little creative, but this was just stupid. I knew Garrett wasn't going to be able to see him, at least until he got up on the next little bench in front of us. Garrett was sitting a little lower on the hill than I was, and I don't think he could even see him right here. Dude. It's about time. Did you see him coming clear off the far ridge? He came out right out of the bottom in the middle of that yellow grass in the bottom. Did he? Yeah. And he is right... About 10 yards from the road. There. Off the road. 
I'm going to make you get the truck this time. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it is a really light colored coyote. Really light. Probably not real big. Thought it was a smaller coyote. Well, finally something worked out for us. I don't know, hell, it's probably 10, 11 o'clock, something like that. Been having a rough day. It's just been learning a new country and we're starting to get the hang of it. Now we're headed into some country we hit before. Kind of know the area, know where the water is, know where the better stands are. So hopefully we can uh, get out there and get four or five more. We kind of had to change plans today because uh, we are driving a lot further than we thought we did. And we had 10 gallons extra gas and we're going to run out if we don't get out of here. So plans change, but you got to do what you got to do. Made a couple more stands and saw this really cool mirage. Not really sure how you get floating mountains. Well, this coyote came in at exactly 20 minutes. We were just getting ready to stand up and I just saw his ears poke above the brush. Once again, I knew Garrett couldn't see it, so it might be kind of tough to get him killed. Plus, he was already coming in almost downwind. I'm not sure if we've done it already or not, but here's your tip of the day. Learn to read coyote body language. Very, very important, especially in situations like this where you have a hesitant coyote. Most guys would try and shoot this thing on the run because they think he's going to leave. You see how he keeps looking back and wondering what's going on? That coyote's not just going to leave until he actually does get downwind, and then he'll probably leave, and even then, he's probably going to stop at like 300 to 350 yards out. Learn to read coyote body language. There's your tip of the day. He just went over the road. He was dragging. I shot through a bush. He stopped completely through a bush. Yeah. <clears throat> He's dragging guts and everything. Is that right at 20? When you kissed, it was 1910. One of the biggest advantages we found for filming about everything we do is you can look back at the video. When you can't find a coyote, you can look back and see where the hell he went. Garrett's been over here for 10 minutes looking for this coyote, trying to find blood. And he's right here, right off the road. When it happens so fast, sometimes you can't figure out where they're at. And uh, I think Garrett's getting a little bit blind in his old age because uh, Stevie Wonder could follow that blood trail. Well, now that Garrett decided to come join us again, Jeez. you just felt like getting some exercise, right? Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, you made a mess with that one. Yeah. How many is that out of this valley now that have been after 18? Five? Yeah. When you kissed, it was like 1910. And it was probably... 1930 or 40 when I shot him. Yeah. I had to convince myself because everything we've called has been first sequence. This trip, but this not trip. this valley. Yeah, yeah, not this valley, this trip. I had to convince myself to make one more sequence and I was done calling when you kissed. I literally almost stood up two minutes prior to that. Yeah. Patience, Patience. pays off again. So just before this stand, we saw a coyote right off the road. Well, not right off the road, I guess about 800 yards off the road. Um, he saw us driving in, and we knew we weren't going to be able to call him in there. So we went up over the hill about a half mile, found a decent place to hide the truck, and made this stand. And I'm thinking this is the same coyote, and he was real hesitant. Decided to give him a round anyway. Just barely over top of it. Was it? That's probably 500. Yeah, you were only about three inches over top of it. Really? <laughs> 
no, I'm not gonna pull a Garrett and everybody else and catch it. <laughs> and why Garrett? Because we're smart. <laughs> and I value my hands. Because we like our arms. That's cool though, guys. Look at that. Look at him freaking dig, man. He did that in about 10 seconds. That was pretty cool. Well, that happened fast. Rookie mistake. Did you, did you even have the shotgun with you? No. That's why I did what I did. Yeah. I got the one. Yeah. Luckily, because it didn't see me, I made the mistake. You recording this? Uh-huh. Rookie mistake, guys. Been doing this forever. Had a coyote. I first saw him maybe 100 yards coming in. And the way I let Micah know I've seen a coyote, or he lets me know he's seen a coyote, you've heard us, we go <laughs> lip kiss. And I did that at the exact same time as I was moving to get my gun over, because we're set up here and he came over here. He saw me move, turned and went over the hill. Luckily, the other one popped up over, didn't see me. I got it stopped and at least got that one. But rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, not packing the shotgun, because it's pretty open. We're set up so perfect right here and where they came from, I probably could have shotgunned both those if I'd have brought it with me. Damn it, Garrett. I know. <laughs> That's right, we got another one. I'm happy. What's up guys, we just finished wrapping up another video for the YouTube channel, I had a great day. But just wanted to say thank you for all your guys' support, that's the reason we're out here doing what we're doing. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you get subscribed. And also if you're interested in any Hidden Instinct hats or decals right now, check out our website in the description box below, it's hiddeninstinct.net. Uh, right now we've got a few hats and decals, we're going to be getting hats, decals, uh, hoodies and shirts here in the near future. So if you're interested in that stuff, like I say, click the link in the description, check it out. Thanks, guys.